So here we have homelink 9.6, which is called Arrays and Factors. And this is giving us a story to help us think about um, multiplication and division a little bit. So these guys, Gilda and Harvey, need to arrange 18 chairs for a performance. So they want um, rows with the same number of chairs. So you can use counters or just pictures to help you figure this out. But it's going to ask you a question about different rows here. So can you arrange the chairs in one row? Of course. And this is what it would look like here, arranged in one row. So the answer is yes. A big yes. And if you say yes, how many chairs in each row? Well, there's 18 chairs in that row. Now how about two rows? Well, 18 is an even number, so it should go into two rows. I'll start with the two rows, imagine the stage is up here, and then fill out 18. And it will look like this. And you can see our rows are even. We have even rows with 9 in each row. So again, the answer is yes, and we have 9 chairs in each row here. And it's asking you to list all of the factors of the number 18. If these numbers go into 18 evenly, then they're a factor. So already we have 1 and 18 are factors of 18, as well as 2 and 9. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try to do, let's skip 3 and try 4. You can do 3 on your own. So we'll start with 4 rows and then fill in 18 chairs. And it's going to look like this, and you will see here that we do not have even rows. We have five chairs in these rows and four in this, these two rows, so it's not even. So the answer for four rows is no. Again, a big no. And uh, it says if yes up here, remember, so we don't need to fill in that part because the answer is no for four rows. Now this is basically just this chair exercise is a way of getting you to understand the idea of factors using a story. So here 18 has six factors and you should have figured that out pretty quickly by doing the rest of this here. Um, but really you can find the factor factors of any number you, if you know your multiplication facts. So let's just take, take a look at a couple examples. So how about 16 here? We need to think about what times what equals 16. The easiest one to always start with is 1 times 16, or 1 times whatever is the number. Those are always going to be factors of that number. You can probably um, figure out the other ones too. What times what equals 16? There's three more. Think about it for a second. Uh, however, we know 4 times 4 is 16, but we only need to write the 4 once. And then the other one is 2 times 8. Remember, any even number is going to have 2 as a factor. So these are the other factors of 16. There's five factors of 16. Let's try uh, one or two more. If you understand, you don't have to watch the rest of this, but just for practice, it might be useful. So how about 24 here? There are eight factors of 24. Can you think about what they might be? To help you get started, remember 1 times the number itself is always going to be um, a, a factor. And if it's an even number, and this is an even number here, then we have uh, 2 times what equals 24. Hopefully you can figure these out, but they are 1 times 24 and 2 times 12. And think again, what else can we say? You multiply together to get 24. Do you know the other four factors? It's going to be 3 times 8 and 6 times 4. Both of those factors uh, multiplied together equal 24. So I'll write them like that. 
And again, you could write these in order, uh, but I just put them together with the numbers you multiplied here. One more quick practice. 20 has 6 factors. I'll give you about 5 to 6 seconds to figure it out. Or pause. And there they are. If you know your math facts, should be no problem. And that's how we got our factors. So again, if you know your math facts, factors should be pretty easy to figure out. And this will be useful as you do more advanced mathematics um, and different... They, they use them for all sorts of math later in your future. So please learn your factors of different numbers, and I think it will be very useful for you. Thank you.